What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I got the 2v2 here on my phone. I'm headed back from All-Star Weekend, but we have a pre and post game show, so I have to watch this game before the post game show. My prediction was 30 to 19, Day Day and Tricky. I think they just have such a good thing going with their pick and roll. And Day Day's playing with a lot of confidence, and I just don't know exactly like how Draco and Kamari are gonna score other than swing, iso, shot. So if they get hot, they can win, but um, I feel like Day Day and Tricky just have more of a, just more of a game plan offensively. Like they have, they just go to the pick and roll every time. Oh my gosh, dime. This is a sleeper, Day Day's gonna be a 90 2v2. before the season ends, watch. Um, my personal opinion, I know I'm, I know I'm on your bench. He hasn't sorry, had a bad game yet. This is low key just, this is low-key just kind of a kind of an unbeatable duo. Not an unbeatable duo. Good finish by Dede. But they just haven't – there hasn't been any, like, really good matchup for them yet. Like, I feel like them two versus Cam and Draco would be good. But with without a guard in the two – makes it tough. Bro, there is just so much space on these 2v2s too. Good finish, Tricky. Tricky's played good too. Pick and roll. Look at all the space he has. Like, I don't know, this, this there's just, they might, Moon, next chapter might have to get twos, rid of the two on two. Really good two, two team. I feel like, you know, we got this down packed to the science right now, bro. We just need to, um, me and Trey got to figure out a way to close the run, bro. But the two on two, shit, the one them keeping us alive right now. They have every game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they do that. just have it down to a science, but also, there just seems to be like, The two on twos just aren't as exciting. I'm just gonna just keep it totally honest there, cause it's just it's a slower pace. It seems like less intense. And then <laughs> like with Data and Tricky, they just go to a pick and roll, and then there's just not a lot of effort guarding it. So it just makes the game kind of like kind of boring a little bit. I hate to say that, but Data just fight over that screen because it's okay. not really. Like, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Should they try two on twos again next season? Because it has been probably like the weakest game type this season. It's been one, tag team one on ones, which has been fun. Then two on twos that have been like, ah. And then the three on threes are are good. They're pretty good. I don't know if it's just Day Day and Tricky just demoralizing people from playing the twos. But it's just not as intense. And I really like two on twos in, in general. I just feel like if there was a if there were, if we had to pick a weakest game type for for season Honestly, nine, it probably uh, would be two been and two. Speaking very highly of Day, of Day Day lately, he's definitely coming to the plate, um, and you'll hoop with Tricky a lot. Their two v two team has been pretty tough in these games. Do you think uh, Drake They're and Kamari can pull through here? Or you think we're gonna see game three? Um, I mean, it can go either way for sure. If they, if Draco and Kamari start hitting their open shots. Like if they hit any shots right here, they definitely can pull it out. Um, and they are getting chances to score though. That they're a really good duo. I like the duo. Oh, nice cross. Day -day. You know what I mean? Tough, tough, Dede. He's just setting screens, letting Dede work, and letting him be a guard. You know what I mean? Letting him create. So I like it. I think it's super tough. Yeah, Tricky's played off Dede so seamlessly. If we go like, into a three v three this game, too, it should be that easy though, and it has been. Has a better chance of taking home the W and who do you think is going to be the first eliminated because somebody's getting eliminated this game 9-0 oh, is it 9-0 like it's just whoever's hitting shots I feel like. yeah, 
I, I hear you. Cam can go off oh. 30 by himself. Scar can go off 30 by himself. Moon can go off Kamari and Draco are definitely getting so great looks. Day -Day too, and then you got Tricky doing that. Nice pass, Day Day. Good finish. This man always says hi, Mom. Man, like, there's just... Nobody can stop the pick and roll yet for Day Day and Tricky. All season. Filet. Okay, Day Day. What's this? Is that 11 or 13? What's the score? 13 0? No way they get to halftime. They might. Bad. Oh my gosh, bro. 16 0. If this is 30, first of all, I made a bet with Bielis in the pregame. If the if I gave him ten and a half points, which Talk is crazy, but it's it's, it's looking goal. great right now. No. But if they thirty owe them, I'm out. I'm out on the two on twos right if it's thirty. Yeah, we good. They're getting good looks though. It's not even. I feel like they don't know what they're doing right now. Like I feel like Day Day and Tricky aren't like super locked in on getting out after after a rebound and contesting the shot. They're, they're like. Kamari and Draco have opportunity to get back in the game if they just hit a few shots. But it's just the consistency with Dede and Tricky. They know they're going to get a good look every possession. Yeah, they're just not hitting. But they also look kind of disengaged in the huddle right here. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh. They, they need to, like, spark the energy. Sometimes you may even have to, like, fake it to make it. Like, just force the energy at first if you're down like this. Like, if you're not feeling energy. Oh, my gosh. 18-0. Good flow, Dede. Dede is just putting on a master class in two-on-twos this season. He's Guys, not even, like. 18-0 right now in this 2v2. Bro, imagine if he, if he just was a just great shooter. A mindset thing. If you were up 18 He's really just like doing it with his pace. One of the pace. biggest things you got to remember. And, and finishing. What, what's going and your mind if you're up he has shot right well, now. but. I, I ain't saying they should do this because it would be some, some whole shit. But they low-key just say they energy. They'll have more energy for the threes. Because they already up 18 <laughs> you know, It'll be hard to fight back. You feel what I'm saying? Rob like said, give them the game. Back. Save it and for the threes. And we barely had energy in the threes. Yeah, it's a That's pretty interesting funny. take. But 18-0, this sound, this 18-0 in a make it take it game is not impossible to come back from at all. It's it's literally five threes, which they've had like five wide open threes this game. But like right here, they can score. Man, I don't even know if that was a foul. At first, it was a foul, but. I just feel like they, their energy is just, it's just not there to come back. That's deep. I like the shot though. Like nothing wrong with that. You can take those every, especially when you're up 18-1 and you pretty much have been getting whatever you want. You can take a little heat check shot. Good finish. Way to play through that contact. Might have took an extra step there. Nice. It's a good foul. Man, I uh this isn't even like The main thing when I look at when I looked at this game before it before it happened, I'm just like like last last game Draco and Kamari um they had a mismatch. The last 2 on 2 they played, they kind of like attacked a mismatch. But with Day Day and Tricky, you're not you're not just gonna go at Day Day and just just attack him like that. Um, and then I feel like Tricky can hold up against Kamari. Tough step back. So it's really like you have to use a pick and roll. Oh my gosh, I was about to say. But Day Day or not Day Day, uh, Draco and. Kamari, like, if you just watch, let's watch their offensive possession. 
Like it's kind of just a little bit good shot, Kamari. But to rely on that is just it's it's gonna be tough to get any kind of momentum. Unless one person just gets hot, but they're really just space try to try to ISO and then you know if you if you make it you make it great but they're not really hitting shots and and every time they screen a roll that that that's good action that's a good look that was a good look Day Day's dancing, man. He's so comfortable. He's been so comfortable all season. Twenty to five. Needed that. Good shot. Good shot. Who knows, man? I mean, twos and threes. This is not just. This is not an impossible task. Y'all, they might. They might have to get. Like replace the two on twos next season. If we had to rank the game modes, it might be the weakest. Ooh. Yeah. Like I, I'm. I'm I'm kind of conflicted because I had a bet I have a bet with B Ellis and like I'm I'm going for Team Moon but I want to see great games I want to see great basketball I want to see a lot of energy and you know just good a good game like I don't want to see this the energy is kind of not there good shot Draco like I said though they can get going at any moment. 11 points. That's potentially four possessions. All they needed is one, and then they hit two. There you go, back door. Sometimes, especially as like as a shooter, you see one go in. Twenty to eleven. The next one's going in. Like you just gotta you gotta hit a shot. Turn it down. You stepped on it. <laughs> Yeah, he stepped on it for sure. <laughs> they just getting greedy out there. That's a good D. That's a tough shot, though. Good job by Tricky just to make it tough. Hey! What happened? Didn't clear it. Didn't clear it. I guess I guess you got to get both feet behind the three. I think he only got one. All right, sideline energy. Let's see if that let's see if that sparks something. Got to come set a screen. Oh my gosh, Dede's in between it, and he just rips, takes the ball. Oh, good hand, good hand. Kamari just saved that bucket. That would have been a big swing. There's like they're like one three away from potentially stringing a run together to get back into this. Day Day can shoot that. Oh my gosh, he's so comfortable out there. He's literally got like five feet of. He's got good, good shot, Tricky. He's got like five feet of space just to make decisions, just to really think everything through. He's dancing out there like. Got to clear it. Got to come set a screen. You don't really want to just go at Day Day. He's getting to see how Day Day's fighting over top the screen, though. That's what they're not doing against them. Nobody's nobody's really done that against Day Day. If they tried a two v two again next season, there has to be. Um, just more of a game plan to guard the ball screens. Because, like, this season's already done in film. So they can't – nobody can do anything now, you know. What's done is done. But that's why it's cool we can watch film, you know. Because they, they can fix this. 
all this stuff is fixable. Man, even the energy there is just kind of like, as the game feels like it's over. As a viewer, it's like, this game's over. Is it Drake or opportunity to get his what he can do? You I got you. Yes, I got you, bro. It's getting you to your spots and what you do best. Hey. It's going to get Drake or to his spots and what he do best. She so, I need I'm glad Cam's saying. So, I need you to pick it up. Like defense no bullshit, stop. bro. I defense I'm, I'm letting you. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, pick, it, yeah. pick that shit up, bro. You know how to yeah. pick it up. I know you yeah. do, bro. You play college, D1 college ball, bro. Come on, bro. Show me that D1 shit. Show him his level to this shit, bro. And my mama. I like it by Kim and Scar to try to yes, try to spark something. Mr. 49. And over here it's just like if it's too light. It's too light. They didn't tricky have been chilling all season. He doing all this out there. Really just setting up for shot. That's his way to set up by doing this. But look, just have your hand up. Therefore, it's uncomfortable for him. Yeah. Now he feel like he got to drive. And now he's doing dumb pull-ups and shit instead of getting shots that he yeah. might make. Because he's setting up. You know what I'm saying? Tips by moves. Them bitches, what you trying to have to be, bro? <laughs> yeah. Nigga contest and you got what you want. I feel like I made it anyway. Mm -hmm. I already did what I wanted to do. Yeah. I love okay. it. Get your hand in there. Try to make him do a little. Make him drive. Right. I love it. What's up, man? Another thing that Dede does really well is just get to the paint and then just like kind of survey around, keep his dribble alive, and either score or assist. Good finish, Draco. Come on, spark some. Spark some. I'll do some push ups if it means y'all make it a game. I also don't think it's like totally on. Kamari and Draco, I don't think their their play styles really fit together. You gotta have a dominant ball handler in these and uh, just allow each of them to be able to play up to their ability. Good shot, Kamari. Like both of them are shot makers and can handle the ball when needed, but not to be the primary ball handler for their team, you know? So, okay, this is getting, okay, they cut it to eight. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm a. I gave Bielis ten and a half points, so it has to be for me to win. I need it to be thirty to nineteen. They have seventeen. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. They need a three. A three makes me lose. Oh man! Did that get deflected? Uh oh. Oh my, oh my gosh, that stutter step was nasty too. He really shifted him and then the finish was, the finish, yes, the replay. The extension, day day to 90, day day to 90 soon. He's at 88 now. The ratings are fun, man, they're fun. Keeps everybody like, it's just something to talk about. So much space. Oh! Amari's limping. No threes. No. Th Amari's limping. Ooh, is that a non-contact in knee injury too? Uh oh. Three on three, man. Let's believe you got to be in shape to come out here. I tell you that. I've been re reiterating the whole video. If he out, they forfeit. I don't, I don't want that kind of win. I want that shit. No way. He's going to try to play. That's that's big, though. Because this is game two of the series, and they're facing elimination, so game three. Well, first of all, forget forget the, all of that. Like, hopefully his knee is okay, just on a personal level. But as far as this stuff goes, for the series implications, he they have a game three to play. They definitely... What is this turning into? <laughs> what is this? Three wins it. Oh my gosh. That is just dancing. 
He's just dancing. Oh! I'm not gonna lie, Dr Draco and Kamari just have missed. I mean, half the game's make, just making shots, man. All the other stuff is just to put yourself in a position to make shots, but. Okay, Tricky! Oh. Yeah, this is over. They're they're ending it right here. String. Oh my gosh, he's dancing. Game time. Wow. Well, I covered 31-17. But oh man. Said it earlier in the video. I don't know what they do with the 2v2s. Let me know what y'all think. Do they bring 2v2s back next season? Uh, there's still a lot of basketball to play to be played in Season 9, but who do y'all think is going to win Game 3? Uh, it's, they're both facing elimination, so whoever wins this game continues, but the other team is out of the tournament. So, As always, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace!